So this episode is mainly about two things. First is my right thumb and second are these two sheets. So we will work on simple and alternate thumb exercises. We will work on simple thumb and chords on and off beat and we will work on al alternate thumb and chords on and off beat. And then we're introducing left hand chords and in the end we do alternate thumb bass and chords we bring all together. So one big goal for this episode and for the whole series in total is to play the bass lines with the thump without even thinking while also playing some melody with the other fingers. So you just play the sixth string and the fourth string always only with your thump. It might be easier for the beginning to just, because you don't need your other fingers, just put it here on the top to give your right hand a little bit more of a stability and then you can just go on playing with your thumb. <laughs> you look. That's it. Not so hard, right? And you can even try to alternate the thumb by playing it like this. So you go with 6th string, 4th string, 5th string, 4th string, 6th string, 4th string, 5th string, 4th string, 6th string. So the next step is to include also some fingers. So we go with the typical bass. Four, six, four, six, four, six, four, and include these two strings, string one and two, as a chord played together with the bass, always on one and three, okay, like this. So this is quite theoretical, right? And it doesn't really sound good. So it's really easy entry exercise. But what if we add a little bit more of a rhythmical offbeat like this? So these are very typical rhythmical exercises and it doesn't really sound nice, but we're already coming a little bit closer to, let's say, real music. So till now we just did some easy thump exercises. We never used the left hand or the right hand if you are a left hand player. So what we're going to do now is we add some real chords on the left hand and try to do the picking patterns with the right hand at the same time. So let's just take the C chord and try to play an alternate bass um, on beat. So C has a bass on the fifth string. This is the, the bass, it's a C. And we just do the alternate bass on five, three, four, three, Five. Like this, okay? One, two, three, four. And we add the G chord, like this. 
third fret on the sixth string and second fret on the fifth string. Alternate thumb. So now we just do the turnover. One, two, three, four. Now the G. All right. Yeah. You see, so it's a matter of concentration and it's a matter of exercise to really make sure that the thumb is doing individual um, or is the thumb is working without even thinking what it does. So we now played only um, the bass, an alternate bass on the C and the G chord and now we're going to add the other melody fingers or let's say play the whole chord not only the bass and we do this now on a alternate thumb and chord on beat and afterwards we try to do this off beat okay like this Now we go with the offbeat version. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, I have to admit that it doesn't really sound perfect and that's what I meant. Okay, this is driving me crazy at some points because it there is a big need of really high level concentration for me right now to make this happen and to make this work and sound, yes, let's say almost good. So I have big struggles um, with getting further on that, but I see that with each day of exercise and practice I get more used to it. I think I will just keep practicing right away after the video and I hope you will too and I hope you will also find your personal practicing routine um, to really get better in playing guitar and maybe bringing this really to the next level. If you want to share your practicing success with us we would love to see you or meet you on our Instagram channel. Just upload a video or upload a photo that shows how you practice and how it sounds. It might be quite interesting. Just don't forget to tag our Instagram channel at Baton Rouge Guitars to make sure that we also see these videos. So I would love to see how you work on your skills. And meanwhile, I wish you good practicing and see you next time.